All right, I've got some more. I've got some more facts about Hawkman. <laughs> you gonna you gonna stay in in the mode? Now I will admit that this uh, outfit costume is a little rudimentary. Uh, we are definitely not insisting that this be the actual costuming. Well, really, I think that I, I'm the one who blew it for you, man. I don't know this right here. I think you had a chance, and then this. No, but you don't understand. This movie's gonna make. Well, I mean, let's just be conservative and say it's gonna make a billion dollars in the box office. You know, three point five might be pushing it too far. When you're gonna make that much money, you can spend all. What are you saying? I can't see your mouth. And anything. Stevie wants you to take it off. He's hawk me. I, I, I'm not. I, no, this is very, this is very important. You want me to talk like this? Is this this could be a problem <laughs> that the director has to address? You know, all the shots of Hawkman need to be from a from a low angle. <laughs> So well, you, you don't have to see, see his, his mouth. mouth. In fact, you know what? I can just VO the whole thing. If we do this, it could be an ADR situation. <laughs> I, just move, I just move my chin like this. Okay, what I was saying was, is we're gonna make a billion dollars on this movie, and listen, all I want is a SAG minimum. Link will work for free. Um, <laughs> then what we're, what we're gonna do is we're, you can invest a million dollars. If I get to wear eye makeup in a movie, I will do it for you free. You invest a million dollars into the Hawk Man and Hawk Woman costumes, and you're still, it's a drop in the bucket. How much did this cost, Jason? How much did this outfit cost? Uh, like $40. <laughs> okay, we spent $40, and look how far, we, how close we got. This probably cost $30. Oh, well there you go, that's 60. For okay, all right, so about that's 60. That's a sad reality. Under $100 here. to outfit the two main characters. Uh, I mean, you know, so you see where I'm going with this. Okay, here's a couple other things. I mean, there's all so, so much that we didn't cover. Um, yeah, the wings won't fall off. Uh, hi -yah! The thing about Hawkman is he's not like Superman. Um, <laughs> in, in many different That's ways. That's abundantly clear. But he he's more fragile. You know, that's the thing about Superman is like, there's only so much tension that can be built around Superman's character because, oh sure, yeah, he died at some point. But really, I mean, come on. He's, he's, he's the man of steel. Hawkman you could get into like a car accident and die. You know what I mean? It, it's it, it, he's got some some different powers, but when you when dealing with that kind of his weakness, fragility of life, yeah. And and I haven't even thought about this until right now. But Hawk Man and Hawk Woman could have babies together. That could be the sequel. So it could Hawk be, fledglings, Hawk family. Think about it. You know they've got a daughter and son. That, that worked before. Ever heard of the Incredibles? <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of references here. That, by the way, that's how you sell movies in Hollywood. You have to tell them what movie it's like or what movie it's combined with. Two different movies that are great. And, Always uh, equals they, they don't. They know, people in Hollywood don't understand anything unless you give them a, an existing movie reference. I've given you like 12. So, I mean, this, you know, I think I've made a case here. They're not watching this, though. He's listed as number 56 on the best comic book heroes on IGN. 56, that's not bad. I mean, the number 56, you know... Tennis player in the world is probably really good at tennis. I and mean, think about it. I got to beat me and you together in tennis. Yeah, we're not on the list. Right, exactly. We're not on the hero list either. And uh, as Who's I 57, I wonder? 56? Would you have guessed that Hawkman was number 56? I mean, there's only 55. Yeah, exactly. There's only 55 superheroes that are considered better than him by the general public. I mean, think about it. That means there's a lot more that are considered not as good as him. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of superhero movies out there. They made Daredevil into a freaking movie. 54. He's number 54, so they we're made, getting close. They made uh, uh, Green Lantern into a movie. No, they didn't. That's a figment of my imagination. That's what I've been telling myself. So come on, Hawkman, think about it. All right, I think, I mean, I think this has been a really strong case. There was, I think there was something in the notes about don't tell, don't, yeah. Guess the top grossing superhero movie. You want to do that? I got that. Oh yeah, I do want to do that. Okay. Uh, what do you think? I, I, I'm gonna. I've got the top ten superhero movies, grossing movies of, of all time, as of the time this list was made. What do you? What you know? What's number one? Uh. uh Batman. Um, the one with the Joker, the middle one. Uh, that one is not on the Bat list. Batman, which one is that? Not Batman Begins, but the Batman Continues. Batman Continues. Uh, Batman is on the list twice, but it's neither of the ones that you have mentioned. Not the first, so the first, Michael Keaton Batman, and then no. the Batman Begins. No, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises are number the two. The Dark Knight, and number three. that's what I'm talking about. 
Well, you said Michael Keaton. Dark Knight is the, the, the last two. The Dark Knight Rises is the one with the Joker, right? Oh, oh, you mean, you're not talking Jack Nicholson. No. You're talking Heath Ledger. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not the Dark Knight, is it? Dark Knight's Joker. Dark Knight is Joker and the Dark Knight Rises is. So the, I was right. It's Bane. It's Bane. Yes, that's number two. No. Number two was Dark Knight Rises? No, Dark Knight. Dark Knight, then number three is Dark Knight Rises. So no, I don't have number one yet. Top grossing superhero of, film of all time? Mm -hmm. Wow, it must be pretty obvious. I will uh, tell you that there are three iterate. There are. Spider Man? Okay, Spider Man is. On the list three times, Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 are 5, 6, and 7. So I have... Two, and there's another franchise so I'm that's missing on here three four, times. I'm missing 4 and 1 right now. There's another franchise that's on here three times. So that has to be uh, Superman. Three times? You think the Christopher Reeves version of Superman <laughs> yeah. is, is on here? <laughs> this, the Man of Steel is... You can't... Any movie that's made... Yeah, that's true. Not in the 2000s, can't be on the list because they they make so much more money off of movies now because of um, box office prices. Okay. The, my problem is I've been thinking uh, DC Comics. We weren't limiting it to that? <laughs> okay, um, Marvel is uh, Spider-Man. Um, yeah, there's only three DC Comics on the on I think this. the Avengers was no, is number one. You're correct. Marvel's Avengers, Which 623 the, million. I think it's the best superhero movie of all time because I, I prefer the the happier movie instead of the, the Batman movies got a little too dark and scary for me. Number four is Iron Man 3. Iron Man 1? I Iron Man guessed. 3. They actually, uh, Iron Man 3 is the top uh, grossing Iron Man. And then there's the three Spider-Man and then Iron Man, the original is eight, Iron Man 2 is nine, and then number 10 is Man of Steel. So it's Avengers, then two Batman, then the Iron Man 3. Two, and then three of the Spider Men back to back. Mm -hmm. it's Iron Man three is actually the top grossing. Really? Between the, the, it's funny you don't you think I haven't seen that many superhero movies, and then you look at this list and you're like, oh yeah, I have. I know. I totally forgot about all those. Avengers is great. I'd I'd leave right now and watch that. All right, let's do it. I'm okay. do that. I got nothing better to do.